Greenlight lets you create rooms, invite users, and record meetings. It also makes it easy to manage your own recordings. In this video, we're going to see how to manage your recordings in Greenlight. I'll use my home room for the session. In this example, I won't invite anyone into the room. I'll join the session by myself and create a recording. After joining, to start recording, select Start Recording at the top and select Yes. The timer for the recording starts showing the length of the recording. You can pause the recording by clicking the timer button. To resume recording, click it again. You can resume or pause the recording as many times as you'd like during a session. Also, I can raise my hand, write on the slides with a pen tool, and type a few words in the chat. There, I'll now end the meeting and return back to green light. The recording will appear in a few minutes. A common question is how long does a recording take to process? It is important to note that the recording process begins when the session has ended or all participants have logged out. So in general, if the server starts processing the recording right away, it will take less time than the length of the original meeting. Let's refresh the home page. OK, the recording is now visible. Greenlight efficiently organizes your recorded sessions based on the room you're using, making it easy for you to locate them. By default, the recordings are only visible to you. They're shown as unlisted. There are three options, public, unlisted, and inaccessible. Public means that anyone visiting the page will see the listed recordings. At the moment, only you will see the recordings, hence the status of unlisted. If you view an unlisted recording and copy the link, you can send that to someone else and they can see the recording as well. If you change the state of the recording to inaccessible, then no one can view that recording. If you'd like to share a recording with certain people, then we suggest that you leave the recording as unlisted, which will only make it available to people who have the direct link. By default, green light shows you the recording for the associated rooms. If you have multiple rooms, each with their associated recording, select all recordings next to your username. Here you can see all your available recordings. To help you locate your preferred recording, each one listed contains the name of the recording, a thumbnail, and the length. You can use these metrics to sort the recordings and make navigating faster. On the dashboard, you can also use the search bar. As you can see, the live search function shows the matching recordings, without having to complete your search. You can also manage your recordings. To change the name of the recording, hover over its name and select on the edit icon. Change the name and select enter. Thanks for joining and learning more about how you can manage your recordings in Greenlight. Interested in more tutorials on how to use Big Blue Button? Check out some of our other tutorials on our channel. We hope to see you again in the next one.